Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a disassembly video of the MI Super Bass Bluetooth headphones. Now these have a battery life of 20 hours and has Super Bass in it. So uh, I've already done a video on this, your uh, first impression uh, review kind of a video uh, where I've told you what to expect from this. And uh, now since this is a very different design, I wanted to open it up and then show it to you how it actually uh, looks like from here this entire part. Uh, we'll try opening up this part also. Uh, I can't see a screw here, but it might be under there. So let's go ahead and open it up and then see how it looks like. Now the entire thing, the entire assembly, the mechanism is over here on the uh, right hand side. So we'll start with the right hand side. First of all, we'll have to remove the earmuffs. Now to remove the earmuffs, now these are different designs. So you basically have to pull them out like this. That's it. Slowly. Don't put too much of pressure and it comes out. So there are these four cutouts over here. So it goes in uh, accordingly. I'll show you how to put it back later on. Okay. Let's remove the other side also. Just for fun. Okay. Keep that aside. So that's how it looks like. Those are the four screws. So let's open that up. You need a star screwdriver for this. Okay, so that is the driver. Now this is the entire chamber. Now, you see, it's a very different design. Now, even though the earphone is actually that big, but your entire speaker system is just this part, this much. So you just have this much of space for the bass reproduction. Okay, I think there should be a screw or something here. There's a screw here. We'll have to remove that to get into the electronics. Okay, we'll open this up. Okay, just make sure you remember where everything goes back. That's where people have problems. Where you remove things, but you do not know where to put it back. Okay, now to open it up, I'll have to remove this. Now, this cannot be removed till the time the gum over here is moved. Now, uh, if I remove the gum from here, then I'll have to make sure that uh, when I assemble it back again, I put uh, a rubber a rubber based gum over here so that it blocks that hole. Okay, so I broke the wire. Anyways, uh, we'll put that back again. I'll have to solder it back. So let's keep that aside. So that's how it is over here. Now, we'll have to open it up from here. This entire thing is one piece. So to open it up, you'll have to remove this part. So let's go ahead and remove that part. Try this. Yes, there are screws. Okay. Is avoiding taking this out, but you don't have much of a choice. So you'll have to remove this from here. You'll have to remove that. So all the screws are underneath. Now you'll need a tiny, really tiny uh, Phillips screw, star screwdriver to open this up. So you have two different sizes, the tiny one and the medium one for the middle one. Okay, so let me give you a closer look. So there are five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Five screws that you have to open up. Now, I think they should open up pretty easily, hopefully. Okay, so that's how it is. That's the entire mechanism. So that is your entire circuit. Okay, take a closer look. So there are three screws, one, two, three, three screws that you have to remove. Now you have the mic, which is put over here. You have the micro USB port here, the 3.5 mm jack, the two colored LED light, red and blue. Uh, you have the power button, the volume up, volume down, sorry, volume down, volume up button over here. So let's take this out. Okay, so that is the entire mechanism. Now you can take a closer look at that. Okay, so pretty plain and simple. Now 
it looks like there was a lot of space actually if you look at all this there's a lot of space but that space was not utilized properly now uh, ideally uh, the amount of space they had if they uh, would have changed the design a little bit they would have been able to make better deeper uh, base into it it does have base it does have super base but i'm not a big fan of this kind of base i like the low end base better that does not hurt my ears that much so that's basically it how to open it up uh, i will go ahead and uh, reassemble it back again uh, i'll have to solder the uh, earphone part also now because i pulled it out so i have to solder the earphone part now when you're soldering it back make sure you put the red one to the red one and uh, uh, if you do not have a red you'll always have a silver so that's the golden rule now you have to remember even if you're not able to find out which is the positive you'll always be able to find out which is the negative out of it so this is the uh, now over here you have a silver and you have a colored one so the silver one is your negative the colored one is your positive so positive is the red over here so you have to solder it over there so that's basically it Okay, so I did the total disassembly on the uh, right hand side and I showed you everything but then I realized we didn't look at the battery. So the battery is on the left hand side. So let's take a look at that because it's got a 20 hours battery. So it's something special. So let's see how it actually looks like. So I'll open it up again on the left hand side now. Didn't want to do that but let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so that is how it looks like from inside. So that's the battery. The battery's capacity. Let's see the battery's capacity, the technical information. Okay, so it's a 3.7 volt, 430 mAh battery. So the limited charge voltage is 4.2 volts. Uh, now, uh, this is pretty small. I actually thought the battery will be like that big but it's pretty small uh, so I think they could have managed to put more stuff into this so this is how the electronics is so basically the battery goes in from here the battery's power goes in from here to the electronics which is on this side uh, now from there uh, left and right channel uh, comes out of the PCB uh, one goes here and then one comes back through the same wire over here and then goes into this one so it's a regular normal design uh, that's what you actually see in most of them but very cleverly executed okay so now let's put it back make sure this goes here properly it doesn't move and now we put this part back align it properly done aligned Done. Done. Now, I have to put this back onto the battery. I removed it. And now we close it from all the sides. Okay, so completely closed. Now we put the five screws back. I have a feeling I'm going to break this wire now. I'll have to solder it again. But, anyways, let's see. Five, all done. Now we'll have to stick this back again. Let me see. Okay, this way. Okay, stick it back. Stick it properly. Now we put this back in here. Now this is the way it goes. Uh, the wire is on top, so it's going to be over here, and then you keep it down. We'll have to pull the wire in hanging out too much okay we pull it in and then keep this there like that now we put this now when you put this you have to make sure the this goes down like that because that's what makes the thing rotate makes the cup rotate done now thankfully it didn't break now we put it back now before that we have to put the rubber glue all 
Oh wait, we haven't put this. So we have to put this back. And then we put the cup back again. Done. Okay, done. Now let's see how to put the earmuffs back again. There's a technique to it. Now you see these three small uh, circles over there, the cutout. Now you have to put this like this. One cutout done, put it in. Then choose the second one, like that, till the cutout. Done. Now the third one. Now the, now the third and fourth side, you'll have to pull it a little. Done. And now the last one. Pull it up. Make sure it aligns. Slowly let it go in. And that's it. It's done. So that's how you put the earmuffs back again. So, okay, so that's how you disassemble the MI Super Bass wireless headphones. Now, uh, it was not that easy. This this area was not that great to open. Uh, you see that now this one has a little bit of space. The first one that we opened, that has a little bit of space because we didn't know where to open it up from. So we tried it from here without removing the screw. So anyways, now we know. So now you know how to open it up, how to fix it. Uh, now, since this is all plastic, it will leave a mark, so it is best if you use a very thin prying tool. So you get the prying tool. The problem is I'm in Bang uh, I'm in Pune right now. My entire prying tool and uh, set is in Bangalore, so I'll be going there now. So I'll get that. Uh, so that's how you open it up. If you have any doubts how to open it up, how to put it back, any any doubts at all, uh, do let me know. I will make a video on that. I will comment. Uh, you can actually ask me any questions in the comment or send me a Facebook uh, messenger message or uh, contact me on Instagram or whatever. I have a lot of uh, subscribers on my uh, Instagram and Facebook profile. So I keep communicating with them through that. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye bye.